your bacon wrapped shrimp and grits the best in the world the grits are perfect super creamy what's in there leaf what do you think's in the gouda. grits i think gouda cheese is in the grit 100 i don't think so maybe that mask of what is it called mask of mascarpone yeah maybe mascarpone. that <laughs> it's a strong cheese i can taste it what do you think Juliet? I'm gonna get the guy. I'm gonna get the guy up there. I'll get him to tell us what's in it. Butter. Butter? Just butter? I think it's butter. Yeah. It's something creamy, like. Right, that's what I'm talking about. Some other dairy butter. products. Stop it. Yeah. So we ate at Mr. B's. I had the uh, um, bacon wrap shrimp and grits, and it had um, the grits are really creamy and really good. I've never had any grits like it anywhere I've ever had grits in my life. And I found out it had mascarpone cheese in it, and that's their secret ingredient. I give it a ten out of ten. What about the cheesecake? The well, cheesecake was just cheesecake. It wasn't that great. I give it a two. It didn't taste bad. I give it a two. Okay. <laughs> I got the barbecue shrimp and I rate it an eight out of ten because it was a little bit too salty, <laughs> the sauce stuff or whatever that was. And um, I understand why I had to peel that. That didn't bother me. You know, it's just like you have to, like you have to peel crab. So who cares? Uh, the shrimp was really fresh and really good, but yeah, I didn't really like the broth as much. That's why it's an eight out of ten. Cheesecake. Okay, the cheesecake was uh, pretty good in my opinion. Uh, I would say eight out of ten because it wasn't disgusting or anything. <laughs> it just tasted like normal cheesecake, though. That's why it's. 8 out of 10 and it did come with some mangoes and stuff and that's what was supposed to take it away from just being a normal original cheesecake but it didn't because it was too bland I guess and the mangoes were unfortunately uh, not ripe. <laughs> Okay, at Mr. B's, I also got the barbecue shrimp and grits, and they were delicious. The grits were so creamy. They were the best grits I've ever had, and I give them a 10 out of 10. The shrimp was thick and juicy and had this sauce on it with the bacon. It was delicious. Um, again, 10 out of 10. The cheesecake was just okay. Um, it tasted as cheesecake should be. I just am not a huge cheesecake fan. I thought it was a little bit dry and it needed some kind of puree or sauce on it to um, soften it a little bit because it was dry. The mangoes were not ripe and it had some mint on it, but the mint was kind of wilted. Um, I couldn't really taste any mint because probably because they were wilted, but um, 
when Juliet tasted the mango, she said it tastes like toothpaste, but it was actually the mint in there that was making it taste like that. So I give the cheesecake, I don't know, probably a five. I just wanna talk about the service and the restaurant for just a minute. The host um, was excellent. Um, I did make a reservation a few days ago because it's Father's Day for 8 p.m. It's a Sunday and um, I requested a booth um, because some of the seating is kind of congested in the restaurant and I didn't want to be in the middle of the table, especially if we were to do a video review. Um, we were not sat in a booth and when we arrived, he said, I'm sorry, I couldn't get you a booth. However, there were empty booths that sat for the entirety of our visit there. So we definitely could have sat at a booth. I know they may have also been on reserve, but again, they were not sat while we were there. They were sat near the end of our time there and we were there almost two hours. Um, the So the host was, was great, except for that. And then our table was small, just little wooden tables, not a lot of room and not really comfortable. Um, we did have a loud, um, large party next to us, which I was also hoping that wouldn't happen, but you know, sometimes it happens. With kids, um, they were pretty loud, but it wasn't too bad. Um, the server, Ken, and then he had another, a woman with him also, I'm not sure what her name was, but he did a great job. They refilled the waters. Um, they did not check on us after the food came. Um, so that was one thing that I was disappointed about. And um, another thing I wanted to mention was um, the food did take quite a long time to arrive. We waited um, probably 30 minutes for our food to, to come out. Um, it was a little bit longer than I expected um, for that restaurant, but it was busy and it was Father's Day, so I can understand the kitchen was busy. Overall, the restaurant and the food and the service. Let's see, so the restaurant, I will give a nine out of 10, only because of the um, slow service, not getting sat where we requested and not checking back on us. Um, but the food, um, because of Juliet's rating, it's gonna be a nine out of 10 with both of our shrimp. Um,